because it is ignorance about money that causes so much greed and fear, said Rich Dad. Let me give you some examples. A doctor, wanting more money to better provide for his family, raises his fees. By raising his fees, it makes health care more expensive for everyone. It hurts the poor people the most, so they have worse health than those with money. Because the doctors raise their fees, the attorneys raise their fees. Because the attorneys' fees have gone up, school teachers want to raise, which raises our taxes, and on and on and on. Soon there will be such a horrifying gap between the rich and the poor that chaos will break out and another great civilization will collapse. History proves that great civilizations collapse when the gap between the haves and have-nots is too great. If you do what everyone else does, you'll wind up having what everyone else has. It was the best opportunity to invest. The economy was terrible. I just could not pass up these small deals. Here was a man who had not gone along with the crowd. He was a man who did his own thinking and detested the words, we have to do it this way because that's the way everyone else does it. He also hated the word can't. If you wanted him to do something, just say, I don't think you can do it. Trust that the principle of reciprocity is true. The pattern of get up, go to work, pay bills, get up, go to work, pay bills. People's lives are forever controlled by two emotions, fear and greed. Offer them more money and they continue the cycle by increasing their spending. This is what I call the rat race. The first lesson of having money work for you, as opposed to you working for money, is all about power. If you work for money, you give the power to your employer. If money works for you, you keep the power and control it. As I said, I wish I could say it was easy. It wasn't. But it wasn't that hard either. I've learned that, Without a strong reason or purpose, anything in life is hard. That is what freedom is the power to choose. Making a decision to own a house that is too expensive in lieu of starting an investment portfolio impacts an individual in at least the following three ways. 1. Loss of time, during which other assets could have grown in value. 2. Loss of additional capital which could have been invested instead of paying high home maintenance expenses. 3. Loss of education Too often, people count their house and savings and retirement plans as all they have in their asset column. Because they have no money to invest, they simply don't invest. This costs them investment experience. Most never become what the investment world calls a sophisticated investor. And the best investments are usually first sold to sophisticated investors, who then turn around and sell them to the people playing it safe. I've seen this play out over and over in my life, when emotion goes up, intelligence goes down. Not just to be rich, because being rich does not solve the problem. It doesn't. I asked, surprised. No, it doesn't. Let me explain the other emotion, desire. Some call it greed, but I prefer desire. It's perfectly normal to desire something better, prettier, more fun, or exciting. So people also work for money because of desire. They desire money for the joy they think it can buy. But the joy that money brings is often short-lived, and they soon need more money for more joy, more pleasure, more comfort, and more security. So they keep working, 
thinking money will soothe their souls that are troubled by fear and desire. But money can't do that. Even rich people do this. Mike asked. Rich people included, said Rich Dad. In fact, the reason many rich people are rich isn't because of desire, but because of fear. They believe that money can eliminate the fear of being poor, so they amass tons of it, only to find the fear gets worse. Now they fear losing the money. I have friends who keep working even though they have plenty. I know people who have millions who are more afraid now than when they were poor. There. 